As we walk daily in the Word, 1 Kings chapter 4 begins by documenting the officials and governors of King Solomon's court. The men he depended on to oversee all of Israel and those who were responsible for providing for the king's household. Then in verse 20, we see God's faithfulness as he fulfills his promise to David and continues pouring out his blessings on David's family through the reign of his son Solomon. We're told the people of Judah and Israel were as numerous as the sand on the seashore. They were very contented with plenty to eat and drink. Verse 24 says that there was peace on all of King Solomon's borders, and all of Judah and Israel lived in peace and safety. And from Dan in the north to Beersheba in the south, each family had its own home and garden. It was a time of great peace and prosperity in the kingdom. Then in verse 29, we're given the reason Solomon was called the wisest man who ever lived. God gave Solomon very great wisdom and understanding and knowledge as vast as the sands on the seashore. In fact, his wisdom exceeded that of all the wise men of the East and the wise men of Egypt. He was wiser than anyone else. His fame spread throughout all the surrounding nations, and kings from every nation sent their ambassadors to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. It was an unprecedented time, a time that I would describe as heaven on earth, a season when all seemed right in the world. But unlike our future home in a very real place called heaven, this season will soon pass. It reminds me of what Pastor Neil said recently on a Sunday morning. A perfect environment cannot produce a perfect heart. Our hearts have been seared by sin. So even when our environment is right and good, our flesh still gives itself over to selfish ambitions and our hearts and what they worship are soon to follow. I hope you'll truly enjoy reading today about this wonderful time in the history of Israel. But remember, peace and prosperity are short-lived on the earth. We have an enemy that sets himself against everything that's good. But we also have a Savior who has already prepared for us a home in heaven where moth and rust cannot destroy and thieves do not break in and steal.